Clara, Peter and Jane are gathered for a study date. Let's see what they are up to. Hello children. Good to see you studying. Actually, we are preparing for a play. This one is called Super Bone. It's got to do with the human body and the skeletal system. While you are here, do you think you could help us prepare for this? Looks like we are in for one interesting study date. Let's see how well the kids are able to understand the human skeletal system. Welcome to the lesson on bones and skeleton. Well, it all started in the skeleton kingdom, Skelly. It was election time in Skelly. But this wasn't like any other election. They weren't choosing a leader, but a contest winner. The crown would go to the strongest bone in the skeleton kingdom, Skelly. And the winner would be known as the super bone. Skeleton kingdom? Super bone? Sounds different. This promises to be one interesting play. I didn't think studying bones could be this interesting. Well, each bone gets a chance to talk about its capabilities. After which, the selection committee decides on the winner. The meeting starts with King Skelly, the skeleton, introducing his ministers and talking about the previous year's achievements. Well, as you all know, we've had a smooth run in the previous 12 months, making last year a grand success. Aside from one small mishap, a fracture, all else went well. For this, I thank my ministers. Without them, all this wouldn't have been possible. Ministers? Who are the skeleton's ministers? The skeleton's ministers included Skelly the skull, Ambi the arm bone, Leah the leg bone, Shobi the shoulder bone, Rissi the rib cage, Pelvi the pelvic bone, Baboni the backbone, and Kati the cartilage. Kids, you also need to understand that while this contest aims at finding the strongest bone, the skeleton kingdom cannot function without teamwork. It is important that each bone supports the other. And King Skelly understood this, which is why he acknowledged his team's contribution. Before passing on the microphone to Scully the Skull, the previous year's winner of the Super Bone title, King Skelly requests his kingdom to vote. Fellow Bones, I'd like to thank you for attending this meet. Like last year, I hope that all 206 bones of this kingdom cast their vote once again. And now, let's hear last year's winner speak. Hello, fellow Bones. As you all know, I am once again in the race for the strongest bone. As promised, I've taken good care of the brain throughout the year. I assure you of good health in the coming year as well. Thank you, friends, and I hope to get your votes. Dad, before you proceed, can we get some milk and cookies? We are hungry. Sure. Come along, kids. Those cookies were yummy. Dad, so who was up next? Well, 
Next came Ambi, the arm bone. Before I begin, I'd like to introduce my team members, the humorous, radius, alna, carpals, metacarpals, and phalanges. Last but not the least, I would also like to acknowledge the contribution of the several tiny bones in the palm, wrist, and fingers. Without them, I would be useless. Together, we have made last year a successful one. I thank each and every member of my team for making it possible for us to hold and protect all the treasures of our kingdom. We feel we should win the Superbone title because we enable the body to perform many important functions. For instance, last year our master learned karate. Without the support of humerus, carpals and metacarpals, it would have been impossible for him to practice. I would like to say that the arm bone forms the power force of the skeleton. Hmm. But Dad, isn't karate practiced with both the arms and legs? How can the arm take all the credit for it? You're right, Clara. In fact, Ambi the arm bone realized this too, which is why he joined hands with Leah the leg bone. Listen to what follows. And now I'd like to make another announcement. We've realized how important it is for us to work hand in hand with Leah the leg bone. So this year we've decided to fight the contest together. Let me now call on stage my counterpart, Leah the leg bone. Thank you, Ambi. Before I say a few words, I'd like to introduce my team members, Fema, Tibia, Fibula, Carpals, Metacarpals, and Phalanges. We went through severe hardships during the cricket and karate tournaments last year. However, with our combined efforts, our master emerged the champion. I am sure that Ambi and I are the strongest of the bones in the kingdom. With that, arm bone and leg bone came off stage and shook hands with Scully the skull. Can you guess what Scully had to say? Not really. Well, he wished his competitor luck, but signed off with the line, I welcome the arm bone to this election. Although we had to fight hard to put together the broken pieces of the arm last year, we find a healthy and stronger opponent today. Ha ha ha! Scully is witty. Skelly the skeleton then introduced Shobi the shoulder bone. Hello, everybody! As you all know, I'm Shobi the shoulder bone. I stand out because of my ball and socket joint that allows the arm to rotate and swing. But of course, there are others who help me do this. I'd like to call on stage, scapula and clavicle. Scapula and clavicle connect the arm bone to the shoulder bone. Last year, I would say our cricket performance stood out the most. I understand that we were inactive for a while because of the arm bone, but would request you not to consider that as our inactivity. And with that, I trust you're convinced we rightfully deserve this title. Well, that was Shobi, active and jolly as ever. I now call on Reesey the ribcage. 
I feel bad for Shobi. Looks like the arm fracture will reduce his chances of winning. And so, Rishi came on stage, but silently. All Rishi had was a plaque placard that read, I am important. Do you know why? Ah, that's different. Tell us more. There was pin drop silence in the room. The ribcage continued. I protect the lungs that give you oxygen. Imagine working without oxygen. I join the backbone and chest bone to form a box-like structure. My box-like structure allows me to protect the heart and lungs. In addition, I also protect the stomach, abdomen and liver. Now that you know how important the rib cage is, I ask you to vote for me and select me as the super bone of this year. And with that, Rissi the rib cage ended her campaign. That was a small but sweet campaign, very modest. What did Scully the Skull have to say? Did he feel threatened? Well, Scully stood up and acknowledged Rissi to be important, but then signed off with, Well, protecting and imprisoning. There's really a thin line here. And burst into laughter. It was not nice of Scully to say that. What did Skelly the Skeleton have to say to that? No, no, Scully. Remember, this is a free and fair election. No nasty remarks. Let me now call on stage Baboni the Backbone. Hello, fellow bones. I am Baboni the backbone of the skeleton kingdom. I form the main stem of the skeleton. I connect to all the bones. I also help the skeleton establish a finite structure. I am the only one to run from the top to the bottom of the skeleton. I start from the skull and end at the pelvic bone. I am not a single bone, but I am made up of many small bones. This should highlight how important we believe it is to work together. In fact, I also support the rib cage to protect the lungs and the heart. Suddenly, Scully the Skull stood up and said, Yes, our Baboni can work only as a unit. He can't work alone. The Backbone became angry and said, can our master think of bending, if I am a single bone? I am put under pressure when our master bends. I am the only bone that is put under pressure each and every time an action is carried out. I trust the judgment of the bones of this kingdom and know they will elect the rightful super bone. Next came the turn of the pelvic bone. Hi. I am Pelvi, the pelvic bone. I am the only bone that takes all the pressure when sitting down. I also protect the lower abdominal organs such as the urinary bladder, rectum and in women, the uterus. I promise all of you that I will continue to work for the well-being of the kingdom and in turn request you to vote for me as the super bone. Interesting. But is that all the pelvic bone had to say? Well, while it does very little, which is why the short campaign, but just the same, it is a critical bone. It protects all the organs below the stomach. Hmm. What was Scully's reaction to this? Well, Scully still seems to be in shock. And now, 
for our last, but not the least important, contestant, Carty the Cartilage. Hi, I'm Carty the Cartilage. I'm the only soft bone in the whole kingdom. I'm present in external parts such as the ear and the nose. Without me, no joint in the skeleton can ever move. Really? I didn't know the cartilage impacted joint movement. Yes, it does. In fact, it acts as a cushion or sponge in the joints. This results in smooth movement of the joints. Wait till you hear what happens next. This is the climax. Next, two muscles barged into the room. Skelly stood up and asked them, Who are you? One of the muscles said, We're muscles. We form the swollen region you see when an arm is bent. We are responsible for covering a bone and protecting it. Together, we also work to help a bone move. Considering a bone won't be able to move without our help, we think we deserve to be part of this competition too. Oh goody, I love muscles. Dad, I understand how a muscle protects the bone but what I don't understand is how it moves the bones. Can you explain? Well, imagine yourself running. What happens? Do you feel a muscle contract? When a muscle contracts, it's actually pulling a bone. At this point, the muscle also becomes shorter, stiffer, and thicker. What does the other muscle do? In his speech, the muscle said they worked together. Yes, muscles work in pairs. This is because a muscle can only pull and not push a bone. So, when one muscle pulls a bone, the other relaxes. To pull in the opposite direction, the relaxed muscle now contracts, while the muscle that pulled earlier relaxes. And this way, they take turns to help the bones move. So, did the muscles get to compete as well? Well, not really. Here's what Skelly the Skeleton had to say. I'm sorry. This election is only meant for bones. Since you do not belong to the Bone Kingdom, you cannot contest this election. Well, what happened next? After some deliberation, the results were announced. And Rissi, the ribcage, was elected the Super Bone. Wow! I'm glad for Rissi, the ribcage. It does perform a very important role. Yes. Now tell me, are you kids ready for this play? <laughs>